We saw that most of you didn't come to church yesterday, so we brought the church to you today. That's right. We brought the church to you today since you are rebellious against God and don't want to go to his house. Uh, apparently, people have things against houses. But I noticed that everybody seems to have a house. Uh, all these people have something against going to the house of God, but they seem to all have houses for themselves. So they're not exactly against buildings. I can only draw the conclusion that you must be against the building specifically named the house of God. Yes, it must be God that you're offended with because everybody doesn't have a problem going to a house when they want to go to sleep at night. Uh, they even have houses for the cars to stay in. Uh, they're not offended by those houses, but the house of God seems to be somewhere that you people want to stay away from. So since you skipped church, we brought church to you today. You need Jesus Christ. That's the simple truth. We are here to declare the fact of the matter is that Jesus Christ will be exalted on the day of judgment. God will judge your wicked heart and it will not be a good day unless you change, unless you repent, unless you turn from your sin today, you will comply or fly. Those are the two choices that you're looking at. It's turn or burn. That's what it will be on that day. Uh, you'll either catch on fire for Jesus in this world. I'm on fire for Jesus. Praise God. Or you'll catch on fire for Jesus in the eternal fire, the lake of fire. Let's look at the lake of fire that so many of you seem to want to go to. You think it'll be fun because Tupac's there, or maybe you think it'll be fun for whatever reason. You think that your friends will all be there and you'll have a good time, but it, it won't be a good time. No fun there, no party there, no time to, uh, time to repent of your sin. Don't put your hand on me, you wicked devil, you're on tape and you're going to jail. You wicked devil, you're on tape and you're going to jail. That's obnoxious as shit. You're wicked and you're going to jail, and if you don't repent, you're going to hell. Very simple. You can't do this. You can't just come and uh, up tear someone's property up. I can. You no, you, you can't. You're on tape. Me. You're on video. You did this on video. Okay. And you're going to jail. I just want you to keep it down. I, I love. I uh, no. can do this. It's a great country to be. Uh, no, you, you don't it. love it at all. You just you damaged my property. Like I do not. No, you have you no. You have no right. To, just, to damage his equipment. When you're uh, out of yes, I'm you. at the no, Cater train no, station. I've been assaulted. Time is short! Hell is hot! Time for you to repent of your sin today. There's no hope in your dope. No hope in your cheap thrills. Jesus Christ is coming back. And He's coming to judge the world. Very simple. He's coming back to judge you. It's not going to be hard for most of you. You can look around your life. Just open a Bible and see that you are not living holy. So it's going to be easy to figure out just how God will judge you. It will not be hard to figure out just how God will judge you. It's all written clearly in the Bible. Can, you, can I ask you to like inform, inform me on what you're teaching? Uh, yes, Jesus Christ is coming back. That's the kingdom of God. Uh, no, I'm informing you. Not very effective. What's that? It's not very effective. Uh, can you hear me? You can't hear me? So what's ineffective? The way you're trying to teach. I I'm making sure that everybody can hear me because you're not the only person that matters to God. Everybody here matters to God. That's the simple truth. 
The kingdom of God is at hand. It's time to start living for Jesus. How do you know that? Because the Bible is very clear. Something that was uh, passed down early for thousands of years? Uh, no, the Bible that was written by holy men from the beginning. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So, can I read your shirt for a second? What does the back of your shirt say? It says that truth is hate to those that hate the truth. There's a lot of talk in this wicked nation of hate speech because people hate to hear the truth. Uh, well, if you hate to hear the truth, then you'll hate the truth. You, but the truth would set you free.